All right, so so last game? game, and you guys played Hangman. You guys fought some institute goons who were pretty badass. Oh yeah, I believe a lot of you have really bad HP right now. At least two of you are like very close to death. Yeah, I was at one yeah. um, for the session. Three. Three. Yeah. One and a half. I have ten. I have ten hit points. Yeah, you you <laughs> zap me to sleep. I basically, yeah. had a chokehold, but somehow cut yeah. off oxygen to his brain until he fell unconscious. <laughs> The yeah, how a rear naked choke works. Yeah, he, he gave me the robotic rear naked choke. That happened. Bensi is tied up on the floor or next to another. And I think an enemy who's alive that was tied up on the floor. And oh, a yeah, third he... guy who's was drugged with the sleeping darts. Just kind of laying around one of those rooms. And then <laughs> Reggie went back to the ship because he's pretty hurt. And Captain Pepperoni and Amma opened up the magical door hoping to find some energy core or something worth value and stumbled <coughs> upon one of the cd's bigger secrets and that is that they have a clone army essentially of what a, a you knew him as julian god damn julian. julian god damn julian and they're clearly doing something inserting julians into different situations prime families and that's kind of where we're at you guys are all kind of fucked up you do have that other ship that you took. You discussed putting Giuseppe captaining the Azul, and you guys were going to maybe take the smaller ship. That was the last thing you discussed on that front. Very dark room with a bright, peering light to silhouette a version of me that seems to almost be dripping in this ooze of the, the alien. And I slowly approach and go, what is it? What, what is this all for? C- c- come on, man. Hey. You do this, and and I just see paths of blood. I I get it. I get it. What 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 is this all for? Who are you? What what is this? I am one of a legacy who came to cause chaos within this universe. What do you have to offer other than your rage? Look, I I I, I have vendettas. That's not all I am. You have to help me have some way to have control. Otherwise, we're both going to go down. You don't want that, do you? Perhaps you are not as dumb as you seem. Perhaps we can make a deal. But no, I do not allow for the slipping of bargain. Okay, whatever you want. All I ask, no more intense murder. Give me a little bit, at least have it a conversation when you start to take over, all right? And in return, whatever you want. <laughs> I require the payment of blood, consistent blood, however it may come to me. And then the light starts to dissipate and everything starts to fade out. Let's cut back then to Enzo and Amy. Amy and Pepperoni, you're standing in that room and you are seeing all these pods of Julians. What do you do? Um, I'm going to open one of the pods. You're at the center of the center line running through the station from tip to tip and there is a big cylinder of water and the pods are all in this. So there is an interface for like dealing with the pods. So you step up to that console. It is a of course, going to need uh, to be hacked if you want it to do anything. I can't just use my badge with all the access codes on it. Nope, you're going to roll. A nine. You start beep booping away and you get it to like, there's like an arm comes down and slides over to one of the pods and it's able to pluck it off the thing. And we're going to cut back to Reggie. You're on the Azul yep. and there's uh, some crew members that Amy had told earlier to grab the unconscious folks like they're pulling in you see spency is <clears throat> tied up but starting to rouse from sleep and then there's another guy who's tied up and the ship beaten out of him and he's conscious kind of woozy and then there's a third guy who's not tied up who's just unconscious you remember these guys from the fight and as they're pulling him on one of the crew members shouts out on the bridge there's a a ship just came into our vicinity there's a uh, something big out there sir Well, nothing I can do in my current condition. (coughs) I'll radio the guys, but I I need some help here. (coughs) And then I'll uh, I'll call the doctor. Start to come to. I look around at one of the crew members and (sighs) come on now. Can you untie me? 
we got stuff going on. Let me be of use. Roll charisma. Um, that's a natural 11. So he unties you. He unhooks you from your thing. Assuming you're not, it gets the vibe. You're not in monster mode. And they're also scared about whatever that guy just said about another ship. Yeah. So um, he I, I pat him on the back and, and go, thanks, pal. Thank you. I appreciate it. And, um, I start to see what I have. Um, if I don't have anything that I'm following, um, the doctor and Reggie. As you're walking with the doctor and Reggie towards the medical bay, one of the guy calls out behind you. Shouldn't we? Should we tell the captain about the other ship? Yeah, you're right. Uh, I'm gonna radio to Enzo and go, "Hey, Enzo, uh, we got an issue. Another ship just came in. I don't know what you guys are dealing with in there, but me and Reggie are pretty banged up. He's getting into the infirmary now. I'll let you know uh, any updates if anything starts going down." Have you heard that too, or is that just to me? Uh, but to both, I, I guess since it's like kind of on on it's, common it's, general, that's, that's the group chat. Yeah, it's yeah, the group. It's, it's the group chat sure radio call. I don't have to say anything. How is it the the process of one of them opening going? Is it almost there or? So it's reached up and grabbed the pod and pull it over to the oh. bulkhead thing that it seals onto as you're getting this radio. So it's like in a position where if you can get the doors to open, you can actually get to the club. Okay. And then I'm going to go on to the, the, the unit again, and I'm going to see if there was a way that I could I just shut off life support to all of the rest of them. Okay. Roll this. Shit. 11. You just start <laughs> shutting down as many systems. You get into the subroutines and just start sh- shutting down as many systems as you can. Life support, anything that the, the water temperature, anything that's helping these clones stay alive starts to shut. And then Amy, what are you doing oh. while he's hacking his computer? Hearing there's a ship coming. I'm waiting on captain's orders. He hasn't really said much. We just kind of walked into this room and he just started doing stuff. Probably because he's in shock. Oh, because you don't know who you don't know who. Yeah, no idea. Yeah. He who, know Julian who Julian is. is. But hearing this, I want to go back to my online blog post about this facility mm-hmm. and spend some of my hold to figure out what is the best way in, out, or through this place. It's a big obelisk. So, is there a way up? a way down are there other hangers see if i could scroll through all the conspiracy nonsense and find some so, some crazy cra- crackpot i know i heard stories about these i found no blueprint nobody believes is this using your hold yeah. thing yeah Okay, how much hold do you have left up? I have four. So you're able to find, not like blueprints or something, but just the shittiest grainy photos that someone like (laughs) snuck out of a facility like this. And you are able to piece together that there are probably emergency escape pods built into the tips of the diamond shaped obelisk. So like the parts furthest from the core, uppermost point and the lowermost point or where they house emergency escape. I want to start making calculations and I am just going to start leaving Enzo because he's not really directing me to do anything. Try and explore, find a hidden passage, a maintenance hallway. It's been 10 seconds, bro. We got this information. That's that's eons (laughs) in robot time. I guess that's true. (laughs) Okay, so you start to wander off. Let's cut back to the ship. Two of you, Reggie and Spence, are in the infirmary as the doctor is trying to treat you guys his wounds. Since I'm already being somewhat treated, can I assist the doctor with some of my wounds by using a bandage to get me more HP up? Yeah, the bandage is D4? It's straight four. Oh, just straight, straight four, four HP. That's okay, right. cool. Yeah, so then I'm up at 14. Reggie, are you doing anything? Are you talking to anybody or doing anything? I'm going to say that the doctor restores you both for one HP like every so many minutes here. So I'm just okay. going to give you both one HP right now. Okay. So I'm up at 15. Um, And on that note, I'm going to send if, if I leave, can excuse me, Reggie get plus two since the doctor's not working on two people since he's a lot know. lower. Maybe on Reggie's next turn if he wants to try to get more healing from the doctor. Okay. Yeah, because at least, you know, if, even if he fails, you know, it's probably be like an odds or even troll. Yeah. Even if he fails, it'll still be one HP. Right, right, right. Hopefully. So I'm going to go back out to the front of the ship and uh, ask around to the, the boys and see what they've picked up just what's going on with the ship as anyone started to approach. Do you want me to make a sensor roll with one of the boys on the ship? Or do you want to go up to the sensors and try to roll yourself? You walk up to the bridge and the guy was the guy who's like kind of manning the bridge and seems a little out of his depth and is glad that we're parked. You can check check the scanners and put right. to the scanner machine. All right, I'm going uh, to check the scanners real quick. You guys, uh, you guys hold up at the, 
the door. Make sure nobody gets in. All right. Lock this thing down. Hey, yes, sir. And he starts ordering people and make sure everybody's armed. Right. I know. I know everyone like has general weapons like swords. And yeah, you got some basic we weapon yeah. pirate stuff. So they have yeah. like people are slightly armored. Everybody else has that budget. gear. Yeah. OK. And then that's going to be a nine flat. OK, that's a mixed result. So you open up the scanner. There is a very large vessel. It's five, six times bigger than the Azul. It's like too big to use the dock that you're parked in. And there's two ships parked in that dock right now. And you're pretty sure it is a CD make. And it looks like a war vessel. There are cannons that you can see. Vi- you can just visually see them by zooming in. Mm-hmm. This is some kind of battleship or dreadnought in the fleet. And as you're looking at it, two smaller ships come off of it, like out of a bay or detached from the bottom. You're not quite sure. And start flying over towards the space. Station. I immediately send a message over to Emmy. or just in the group chat in their own go. Guys. This isn't just any kind of big ship. We got a CD dreadnought on our hands and one that's got extra ships. They're coming aboard soon. We don't got much time. And then I, I yell to the men. All right, everybody, turn the systems offline. Make it seem like no one's on here. Be ready for a fight. Yes, got it. And people start getting tense and pulling out short swords. And uh, a couple of guys are putting on the armor you guys stole. Mm. I think they take some of the armor off the guys you beating the shit out of that you brought back. Can I strip one of the guys b- before they do that? If you want to, I mean, they'll do what you tell them to do. They're afraid. I'm going to strip one of the guys of, of what he's got. So he's got like his, you have one of the rifles already. He uh, has the basic armor. He has like one off. Oh, he has one. And they had Fix. grenades. Ooh. I'll give you a one, one of those tear grass. Okay, cool. I was going to see if I can get, I get armor scraps off him too as well if i roll high yeah but it'll destroy that armor that's fine i want to try and upgrade mine yeah that's a 10 okay you're able to take some pauldrons and knee pads or something off of it cool captain pepperoni is the body out so no it's uh it's on this airlock waiting for somebody to do something oh okay so i'm gonna open the airlock do I have to roll again for it yeah mixed result nine cool so you get the uh, doors open and you get in there and julian is like unconscious and like plugged in to this complicated machine like in all sorts of spots like in the back of his head and tubes like out of his body yeah like neo stuff and this looks kind of complicated i'm just going to use my levitation thing and grab him and just start running back to the rip him out rip um yeah so now that it, the doors are open i can get a, a, a lock on him locking on him holding on to him because he was smaller roll. because he was he was smaller than me right yeah i mean he's like stark naked too so you roll him out and somehow don't Stop. rip his guts out through what was plugged <laughs> into him <laughs> by sheer luck <laughs> and you have a levitating julia with you and i'm heading back to the ship okay can i do something to the all channels yeah of course okay so amy you haven't said anything yeah, since amy, since amy i don't know where, where you're at i'm heading back to the ship spency let's take that small ship reggie over you get over there too um and we'll send out the big ship as a diversion and get the hell out of here yeah, i radio back to them and go sounds like a plan oh um, totally ass on this channel right it's not like i'm saying this yeah, it's, it's, it's just us it's just us <laughs> like this, your is, this is the boys this is yeah, the boys, this is the boys. yeah yeah and i look at the two guys i've been talking to this whole time and i go all right you guys hold this i'm gonna go grab reggie and i'll be right back and i run and i grab reggie <laughs> and i grab the medic as well and i go both of you are coming with me and then <laughs> i tell them to run as fast as they can and we're sprinting to go off the ship and onto the other ship prep the ship to take off okay we're gonna fight this thing so you see them all get real nervous as you guys exit do you go with him reggie i'm trying to get us off the ship onto the other ship but i'm taking the medic with us are you coming with us or not you should come with us i'm i'm heavily suggesting you should come with us i mean i feel like i really don't have a choice i'm like i'm like two hp and we're rocking a hard place and we're reggie in a hard place here so okay. i'll hobble and limp my way just me and the me and the doctor are together like carrying him you know over the yeah shoulder. yeah you can help him amble faster sure so we're, we're scrambling off the ship as i tell those two guys prep the ship for fight for a fight and and we're getting on the other ship all right okay. i am going to or and also i'm going to send a quick text to giuseppe mm-hmm. and maria tell them i don't know some bs plan basically that we're just going to go in opposite directions so we'll both get out of here here, blah 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 
Are you putting one of them in charge? Giuseppe. Maria. Okay. Maria. What was Giuseppe doing? He was life, he was life support. support. Okay. And Maria was doing the engineering. Yeah, she was the engineer. Oh, uh, we'll just leave Maria in charge. Okay. Captain Maria. I like it. Captain Maria takes charge of the Azul. And so what plan did you de- tell her? I need to kind of know specifically what information. They go right, we go left. Yeah, we're just going to go literally in two opposite directions and get the hell out of here. We'll and meet, hit him, and we'll hit him meet with back everything at the, you've got. The, the island or whatever. You that know, pir- or, the, the pirate, pirate place? The pirate place, yeah. Okay. Right. Amy, what are you doing? Uh, I hear the message and I'm going to start heading back towards Captain Pepperoni. But before I do that, I want to discern realities and look for something valuable that I can take. Yeah, it's been, <laughs> well, roll your shit. What did you but roll? In 13. Just, you know, what happened here recently? Yeah, this it place valuable, has been right? floating in space for a week or two, and it was clearly like deserted. As it, That's like part of the reason it started floating. There was like a, some sort of mass evacuation. Um, you're not able to put together why, but everybody left in a hurry, and it was just left to kind of float off course. And just What here is valuable? Probably just get some crazy CD data that you could yeah. Oh, jack in to and, pay and your download. Yeah, get more a, data, bro. More data. About the data. I'm gonna get some in, CD information shit. that I can spend yeah. to get more hold. Yeah, and like maybe it's it could be something like, on like a, just a random subject took that chunk of files. Yeah, I wasn't looking for anything specific. But like, yeah. like I started to download the data, and then every everybody was put on high alert. Yeah. And the data is big. Like the total data is like huge. I'm just going to take this chunk of data. I can sell this on the internet. And then I wheel back on my treads. And then I'm behind. And he uh, kicks it into the fourth gear. <laughs> behind <laughs> Put the-, the captain. And I see him taking Julian. And I'm scanning the whole scene. Like, oh, caution, wet. There's a bunch of tank goop on the ground. Be careful. And I, I follow behind Captain Pepperoni. Are you going to the little ship that you, I assume with the floating? They're right next to each other, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm yeah, I'm going to go to the little ship. Okay. So you guys all pile into the little ship. The uh, Azul has made started to make preparations to launch. It's like engines are wound up and shields are on. The other two ships that were launched from the place are very cl- very close to the station. The little ship have weapons? Yes, the little ship does have weapons. It does not seat. have the firepower that the that the Azul has. But it's got some light guns. It's got like one pivoting weapon system you can it is faster and more nimble than the Azul. That's its main modes of defense is agility and speed. It can take less shots too in terms of hits. Yeah, because what did we give the Azul life? Was 15 or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is yeah eight like it's more fragile three sh- three shields two shields yeah it would probably have good shields I call it's- Azul the little monster to come on the other ship too. oh yeah you get your goop monster yeah into my goop monster and this ship is pretty full designed for five and you have six right with the doctor and Azul well Azul's this big he's yeah, like he's two tiny. he's like two feet tall okay so you can go like remember i was wearing him like a like that's a, right you're right yeah, yeah. and amy is definitely a size small amy amy can literally fit in a droid port so we technically have five okay five and well four, four, and four yeah four, four yeah well, Wait, five you brought the do- you brought the doctor too i think having clone oh, julian oh. is better than having the medic oh yeah you have clone julian too so you guys cramming what do we do because that, that ship's a tank so like let it go first let it take on those two it's not supposed to stay and fight we're supposed to we like the our directions we gave it was to like they're the decoy but they're most likely gonna die maybe not i mean it's 15 percent that it's pretty if they stood and fought they probably would die but i think they can get yeah. away because it's right, like we'll the thing will be all fucked up but i think they can get away honestly it's the doctor of, doesn't you took the doctor you didn't take the med bay. he can still do like on the fly med work as you're all yeah, talking about no equipment. we need medical assistance you see amy just like in the middle of the ship just kind of fall apart a little bit a side panel is falling off and you look at him and he's he's got bullet holes smoking <laughs> who could i convince so, to come out to the sector and you like, guys aren't near anything the problem. Yeah. might be able to find somebody but they're gonna be too late to Something start the engines get and get but, this uh, thing ready to jump a, into hyperdrive or at least getting the pilot system all started up and everything I and need like an engineering hypers- roll. Ten. You're spending your hold to find out where to where you can lay low. Yeah. Or where can I best hide or blend it? Yeah. Okay. So your information on that is 
once you get away, you'll have a location you can go to that's you can lay low. All right, I start doing the calculations on okay, getting to that. Okay, the factor. astrogation then for that. Astrogation. And then, yeah, and we're I'm communicating with the big ship with the... Um, I'm communicating with the Drago Azul to actually here's the here's the literally what's gonna be the don't fire unless you're fired upon. Get the fuck out of here. We'll just go in two different directions. I feel like if, if we start fire, if we fire on the ships right off the gate, they're gonna fucking follow us. But if we just take off, I don't think at least not our ship, you know. An 11. Maybe the big ship, but not our ship. Cool. You've uh calculated the directions to get there. Ooh, I know what the our ship should be called. It's the wyvern, the little mini one. The, wyvern? Keep with the dragon theme. Keep with the yep. dragon theme. I, I like it. Are you telling them to go now? Are you telling them to go when we go? We're gonna let them go like a couple like a couple seconds before us. They're gonna come out and then we're gonna come out. Okay. Because so they don't, the, the ship does they don't know about they must know that we have one of the ships or someone has one of the ships, but they're not gonna maybe they're not expecting two ships. Roll charisma for me real quick. Barely. It's a natural step. Yeah. The only the way that we're going to get out of this is that we work together and we have to we have to go in two separate directions. Your ship has more for uh, shields, so it could take a little bit more damage. You go first. This is going to help. All, this is the most logical way for all of us to fucking get You're trying this. to make this a full success. Yep. So that'll be a 10. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, you're not lying at that point. You're trying to be honest about your plan. I don't want them to die. I want them out there making us money. Maria comes back on the comm. She's like, all right. Uh, she's the captain of a pirate ship now. She, yeah. yeah. She was a secretary. <laughs> He says, I don't know whether to wish you boys luck or to say see you in hell, but we're going to make the move. Goodbye, Enzo. Goodbye, Maria. They rip out of the docking port as fast as they can and not very cleanly. Whoever is piloting the ship doesn't seem to have a lot of experience piloting this particular vessel. And they exit and they immediately attract attention, of course. And they start getting communications hailed to them and they take like a sharp turn they get a mixed result so one of the smaller ships that was is now like patrolling the space around the space station peels off to chase after what do you guys do? like one mississippi two mississippi and then we're gonna go out the opposite way all right oh, everything's all set fancy you want to roll to punch out of here and avoid this fighter i rolled a 13 <laughs> you punch the throttle and you roll the opposite way the azul and that fighter starts chasing after you but you have a good leg lead on it you guys immediately start getting hailed too uh like surrender cease and stiff shut down your engines immediately i mean respond we are here to party <laughs> Uh, and that seems to get ignored as you just get bombarded with cease and desist as you're jetting away. I would like to look over at Amy and or ask Amy if he can send them, uh, like hack them in reverse and send them a kill code. Can I will that? comply. He cannot. <laughs> no, but I'm going to try. Uh. Send him a what? Uh, like, like a bug uh, like, or a worm. And... Send them a bunch of happy faces and things on their screen. Like uh, they just sent us a bunch of like cease and desist. Maybe like jam right, right, right. or signal or something. Yeah. Or like a bunch of little blue dragons pop up, you know. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so there's blue dragons all over the screen. <laughs> Normally, Amy's automatic response would warn you about his processing capabilities, but he's so destroyed that his brain's not really functioning right, mm -hmm. and he tries anyway. <laughs> It's intelligence Ooh, seven all the screens in both your ship and their ship for mm. four seconds become like a repeated little bit emoji of a blue dragon <laughs> if every pixel it can fill tiled across every screen on all systems large <laughs> vessel begins to open fire on the azul you can see its big cannons have a lot of reach and even though it's not close by your standards to the space station, the Azul got a six to dodge. So you see it get pounded by a couple of volleys from the larger cannons, and it shows its uh, your sensor readouts on its status shows that its shields have failed. It is also being pursued by a ship, so it's going to try to make some space from that ship, and it rolled an eight. It is not getting away from them, but not being not so close that they're just shooting the ship. You guys guys have a lead on the ship pursuing you if you'd like to roll some shit you guys want to do some shit if i could take a look back at amy and go hold on to your treads and i just want to kick this bitch in the 
buck in overdrive, giving it spins, guiding it through everything. Because now that I have such a light ship. So psyched to have this smooth flying ship that you are pushing it to its limits. And the other pilot is having trouble keeping up. You are still getting broadcast, but it has changed. It is a single female voice that comes over and says, Enzo Pepperoni, Reggie Ono, uh, Spencer Mara. This is Colonel Hendrick. We are here to party. <laughs> oh, Colonel Hendrick is about to eat the dust. Fuck you, Colonel Hendrick. <laughs> I go over the comm and go, eat shit and die, yeg. Fuck you, Colonel Hendrix. You Spencer, might want to reconsider that. Amy is communications. She, she... Can I con- contact my, my network, even though we're in the middle of space <clears throat> flight? I want to find information about Colonel Hendrix and just this is where you live. This is you how long doxer? you've been serving <laughs> in You're the trying CD. To dox Colonel Hendrix. <laughs> Bro, Do let's it. fucking go. Do You're it. a genius. Okay, I'm gonna make you roll to connect under duress. <laughs> 11. Okay, so yeah, you pull up classified personal record on her. You have her service record, her last station. where she's I, s- I send her a video of herself at graduation of, from the <laughs> academy. <laughs> <laughs> she says, you, li- please listen, you are in over your heads. This is beyond you being terrorists on Gamma. This is beyond you even st- Stealing a CD vessel. Please come quiet. It will only get worse for you. Send her something else. Yeah, send her a report card or something. <laughs> I send her the coordinates of her home and like, her business <laughs> email address. Send a little blue dragon to her personal com. Okay. After you spam her again and Spencey <laughs> butchers at the thing, you hear kind of another voice in the background that said, Well, Hendrix, you gave it a, a solid try. And then the, you hear Colonel Hendricks like sigh and then cut off the call. The Azul is being bombarded by the ship as it's trying to escape and it got a 10. So it is not taking any damage from the bombardment. Oh, it is trying to good. escape. It gets a mixed result. So it is slowly making progress away from here. You guys have a solid, clean break at this point. If you want to give me one more roll, Spencey, to just make sure you don't fail. Punch it. <laughs> Like yeah, just you get weave. it as straight as and as fast as you can get it. Like you max out the engines and optimize your course. Twelve, and you guys are quickly getting away. And the ship that is chasing you turns around to start flying back towards this thing. And you get one last final broadcast, and it's that man's voice. And he says, "We'll be seeing you boys again soon." <laughs> And you guys lose contact with the Azul as you fly away as well. So, Amy, tell me about the place your contact gave you info to LA Lola. I think I gathered some information from the Institute ship, and they have outpost stations, safe houses around here in the general area. Maybe they're a survey station looking for new mining areas. Yeah, that that would make sense. That's owned by the Institute, ran by the Institute. Safe yeah. spot for their black ops. Op- Safe shelters. Like, it's just a couple pods that got fired here, there. Nobody's really been there. It's just there as a resource for when somebody in the company needs it. Okay. A few big metal structures that are welded together, floating in space around the asteroid belt, like measuring asteroids as they float by. Mm-hmm. Like a slow moving station that's wandering the asteroid belt and you guys are able to dock with it your little ship just dock on it if you want to chill here i'll spend my last hold and see if there's any danger what's the greatest danger to what direction do we not go into so we can maneuver around this space without attracting any attention you're kind of floating through partially mapped part of the asteroid belt so it's hard to be exactly sure it's there's definitely potential for pirate the pod like this mostly would attract scavengers looking to just grab some technology because it's not known to have like a cache of resources or something so you're pretty safe here there are parts of the asteroid belt that you know you would probably be in danger of piracy and that you could steer clear and, and now that i don't have any hold but i have a network connection 
a stable one. I'm going to upload that chunk of data I got. I'm going to upload all of Colonel Hendrick's information, and I'm going to specifically make public the location of the obelisk. Just be like, hey guys, this is where those crazy pictures I took were. Right, yeah, I do have all this footage of of it now from the outside, from the inside. Yeah, and like scans and just... But I want everybody to know where this thing is. So I have a blast question. all that data out. Yeah. This Julian clone, is it a blank slate? You can make some intelligence rolls and we can just see what I'll tell you. He was plugged into the Matrix. He was. He probably knows everything. Mm. I bet you when he comes out, he's going to be like, Mr. Pepperoni. We meet again. <laughs> Their hive mind. I don't know if you really noticed before, but now that you're in the station, because you weren't in the room when the fucking Julian's is here. And it was so fast when everyone got loaded onto the ship. Yeah, and the this. shit was going on. But now that you look at it, you guys are on the station kind of making yourselves comfortable and you look at who Enzo has and it's fucking Julian's face. And he's like butt ass naked, right? Dripping in goo or whatever, whatever is keeping him alive. I like immediately just like grab onto my side towards like where my robot arm, robot arm is, my right arm. And I say, start Spencey, breathing no! Really, Spencey, start no! Start getting really heavy and I'm just like... Spencey, no, it's the last one. You, you can't. We need to keep it for science. Enzo. Why in the hell? Okay, so you guys aren't gonna believe. Is there me. another Julian? So explain when, this now. When I got, when I finally got into that room, there was a room full of Julians, bunch of clones, a hundred of them, dude. I lean and like <laughs> grab onto the wall. Like my metal hand is like gripping into it so hard, it's starting to like break the metal a little bit. So I grabbed one. I did some. Uh, I turned off the the life functions on the rest of them, and I left. Why would you bring one with you? You know out. I don't question you, Enzo. You know I don't question you about anything. For the most part, I've trusted you as our captain. But this, this, come on now. You know better. Spencer, you don't know. He was like a brother to me. I need to know why. If this guy has any information, even a little bit, I need to know. Internally, real quickly, Butcher goes, let me take this. What I say now, you guys can hear audibly because this is all external and this is while I'm conscious. And I, I go, no, 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 this isn't the time. Not now. Not now, Butcher. And I, I like try to just like leave really like it's not to really like, go, like, is there? Like there's like a way to walk out. Like I'm just trying to like be as far away from the body of him like a and, and go. No, it's like, it's well, no but you guys docked right? to the little station. So oh, right, right, right. so I'm I'm going out through the port into the station. But our ship's a decent size, right? It's fairly small. A five person ship instead of a there's like a little deck, probably some bunks, right? At least at least like a couple bunks and stuff. So do you guys want to make camp? We're chilling here. Amy's gonna start ripping apart things so he can repair himself. Enzo yeah. can help you with that too. Yeah, so oh, first, oh, oh, first uh, things first, uh, yeah. I wanna tie up this guy wherever we can find a place to tie him up, preferably like tie him down to something. Are you gonna use some adventuring gear? I still have a I think two left. Yeah, I'll get some more rope. Is there a table? Can there be a table or something? Yeah, there? you could just like tie him to the or to the, to side the small of little table and then the tiny little mess to the hall rainy. inside yeah. this like a small four top with four chairs. Okay. Like yeah, let's do that. Let's time to a chair. Grandma's breakfast note. After oh, let me work that. Well. After that, I'll help Amy fix. Yeah, can we work on giving me an an armor while we're making camp? Uh, I would like to roll, or do I need to roll to add the armor scraps to my armor to make it plus two so or two armor? Here's the thing about plus two armor in this game is it counts as clumps, and unless you have the 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 appropriate skill, you get a minus one to doing anything while wearing. It. Okay. Um. Could I instead use the armor scraps to uh, make an attachment to my metal arm for my knife and have it? in a way that it kind of sits on the outside, kind of like a like saber tooths deal. Like you want it to be like a punch dagger always attached to Yeah, like a, like a punch like dagger, a yeah. Screen? Yeah, you can roll for that. It's intelligent. One, so that's actually a 12. Second thing I wanted to roll for was, oh, I wanted to roll and try and make another special type of bullet. You don't have all that lab space you have in the other ship now. So what kind of bullet were you going to try to make? I was just going to try and make essentially like hollow points just like extra damage bullets so uh, nothing ex- nothing explosive nothing right, yeah yeah nothing. yeah like armor, armor piercing. piercing yeah like armor piercing okay i think you'd need some kind of like dense metal like like the armor scraps if you wanted to do that instead of the punch dagger i would let you use armor scraps for that okay or or you got to get some kind of piece of you know like a heavier metal than the bullets are made up to make like a little armor tips and probably i st- I, I, I still do have the gun from conway it was julian's gun originally it was a handgun 
of some oh, kind. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Okay, yeah, you could destroy that. And, uh, venturing gear to, like, have the tools you need. All right, so, Pepperoni, you were trying to help Amy put her, put himself back together? <laughs> I got to tend to helping Amy. Okay. My two things I was going to do was help heal both of the other players. We'll say that, because, like, we haven't discussed Amy's healing. Yeah, I've always fully rules. healed over the the rest take four like a bandage let's say you made he made essentially a bandage so you get four for that mm-hmm. and then are you you said you're t- trying to do something to reggie is that what you said yeah and then i'll use my nanobites on reggie R- roll that 12 and then i get to roll a six so that it's okay. a full success and then i get to roll mm-hmm. six and it's a six so six hp back nice reggie you heal six hp and then are we making camp on top of that i think we need to like interrogate this can try to wake up this okay all right oh, you guys yeah. want to sleep we could sleep on it i guess to get some health up yeah because we're just gonna fail and the cd will find us and want to be prepared so you guys take the sleep rule and this means you get half your total health in hp oh shit so i'm, 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 good. I'm yeah. full yep so yeah if I'm you made it to half short you're all right and reggie's probably short to because he probably has a fairly big HP. yeah because he only had two left right he was like about to die he was at yeah i think he was at two or three and then you gave him the thing which is four so four five six seven well two was what i was at last time and then we moved and then the ships and then we've been trying to run so you got four hp just now from from or you got six hp excuse me from pepperoni's healing nanite so plus four equals six and then you're taking a rest, which is half your total heals back. Half of my full HP? Yeah, what's your full HP? 24, so 12. 12. Add 12 to your current health. Okay, 18. All right, that's pretty good. So two of you didn't get fully healed. You uh, spend a few hours, eight hours, six or eight hours in this floating pod with your ship uh, attached to it. What do you want to do now? Captain Pepperoni, you, ha- you had intentions. Oh, be- before that, I want to spend a hold um, and find out information about this uh, little shelter that we're at and see if there's an inventory manifest of what supplies are here so we can stock up on things. And then if there's su- supplies, I would like to beef up my outer shell a little bit because this is Amy's first embrace with mortality and there's holes. How do I stop holes from body? More, (laughs) more metal. So you're going to try to see if you can get some parts to upgrade your shit and you're using your thingamabob. So I'm going to say that there is, there's probably some sort of equipment to repair a hole in a ship or the station. Maybe you can use that for armor. Yeah. And there was probably some medical equipment and stuff, but I want you to make a roll to that actually let's do a 50 50 odds or evens has somebody used Even. some of it's a three i was gonna say it had three things it had the the repair a whole kit that you can use your armor it had the equivalency of a, like a hypo spray we'll say instead of a health potion which is 50 10 insta heal even, even in the middle of combat and then two adventure which one of those three things do you want armor <laughs> okay you get the armor part yeah and uh you just see amy rolling around he's got a nice slick stainless yeah, steel chrome, chrome. Just, so that's nice i get <laughs> one armor because i've been running around with no armor and it's uh, no Damn, point in having a blind. large health pool if you're just it just gets <laughs> i'm gonna find the the usb port in, his, in fucking julian's head and fucking plug it and see what i can find out what's going on in his brain and yeah that? why don't you start by rolling intelligence figure out what the fuck this fool's totally unconscious hell yeah 11 cool so you use like maybe your nanites to get some data and he is off more than just like unconscious he has very limited brainwave function just the autopilot shit of like your nervous system keeping you alive i'm breathing i'm my heart is beating stuff the rest of him seems to be like totally dork who's around me right now is it just me or do well, Is not Spency, fancy, Spency specifically left. I mean, Amy just came around the corner in a <laughs> shiny new armor. And nice Reggie's... armor, Amy. Thank How you, you like a whole Captain. Body? All systems operational. I Would am like... happy. Do you want this body? I can put you inside this body. Oh my god. So, biotic, vessel, unsuitable for space faring. I'm just saying, if you want to be like one of us, I can put you in this body. It's Amy just is a... special. 
Well, so pepperoni, what are you trying to do? He's tied up, so I'm gonna try to wake him up. How do you do that? Hacked into his brain. Can I just like turn on the on button? So you try <laughs> something like that, like stimulating his mind, and it's just like it open. He opens his eyes, bump that. The eyes open. They are vacant, not focusing on anything. Oh, I have I have an idea. With all the data that I got about, I was just gonna Car- say that. Colonel Hendrix. Can I construct a personality and we can upload that into Julian's body? Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> that that's that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> and then we have someone to interrogate yeah i mean you can construct a personality yeah you could try this I, I i think again you have really limited resources right you don't have like metal you do have like a doctor and a robot and you're a super genius but you don't have like a lab or a medical bay or an engineering space you're ill-equipped to do anything okay the data Let's- so I, for, I, was, I want to go over the data. Like, he didn't lose it, right? When he uploaded it, he still has his. Oh, that's okay. So, yeah, that's okay. So can, it's can it's we, public can, information now. So he kind of snatched a random chunk of data. So you're trying to find out if this data is relevant to yeah. anything you, you I'll care use some about. Key phrases. Clone. Why don't you roll and then you put in clone? Or you're saying this to Amy, but I guess oh. you're picking the words. So it's you, eight. It's eight is a mixed result. So you find the chunk of data. It is about the clones, but it's about like early in the process about how they like engineer the cells to divide at like an accelerated rate so they could they can grow them quickly. They're able to grow a person in like a month or so to a adulthood and it doesn't have anything specific about what you're talking about but it does mention that they are prepared for what they're referring to as programming after 35 days in the incubation all right so it doesn't have anything in it yet I don't want to put a put. I don't think Amy wants to go on it, so I think that's a bad idea. We find another basic. I guess what Amy was saying. Plus, if there was an Amy Julian walking around, how long are you gonna think Spencer's gonna let that live? Point two seconds. But like, he's not wearing the mask, so like he knows what his face. Like, you all know what Julian's face. <laughs> All right, well, I'll roll aid on Amy making this kernel AI personality thing. All right. I got, does that have to be a full success? I got a nine. Uh, no, on, on, on oh, a, an eight. A, a oh, but it, but it, if I get one. Um, it's a plus one because of because of the one um, bond, right? Yeah. So it's a ten. Cool. So, so you're aiding Amy, and you guys construct what you think is a, <laughs> per, a like a personality that could potentially be uploaded into this person. Honestly, I've been trying to think of, of that ever since we got into this predicament of like the healing and stuff. Uh, I have no idea. I guess uh, I guess I'm just doing push ups in the corner, you know, just trying to get my strength back up. Okay, you're just getting yoked. Why don't you make me a strength? Test? Just walk out the airlock. Oh. Oh, seven. Yeah, that's with oh, my plus three. You can feel it when you're like trying to do push ups and stuff. The wounds are pretty bad and you're you're yeah. still not recovered. Certain moves are like really hurt and you're like, I gotta not do that because I'm hurting myself. Uh, this is so bullshit. So he switches to squats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, I think part of it is like you've been, you've had your ass beat a few times. Yeah. Now, one yeah. time basically to your death. Yep. And your body is wearing out. You can feel it this time. Like you normally you could bounce back and you're doing push ups right now, but you like it. Yeah. Like, so then I, so after those push ups and after, you know, I know things are hurting, I kind of go sit in the corner a little bit. You slouch down, hands over your knees type thing. And I'm thinking to myself, this ain't the Reggie it used to be. It's quite a shame. It's quite a shame. Amy rolls over and just pats him on the shoulder. Maybe the shady doctor has a solution. And I go, thanks, Amy. I and might I go, have a solution. <laughs> I ain't going part alien. Oh, dude, we could scrap this fucking this body for parts for for Reggie. Just give him new like fucking knees, and we'll just. Yo, we could. <laughs> we'll, we'll... <laughs> Bro, just give me a third arm. Uh, no, give me two arms, and I'll be Goro. To upload this personality or to harvest parts to genetically assist your friend's recovery, you need not a, a derelict floating space station. So okay. let's get the fuck off this rock. But before we do that. Uh, break down the bullets into bullet scraps so i can sure. try again later do roll, i need to roll for roll. that or yeah you gotta yeah, yeah. Okay. just make sure that you don't like stab yourself that's a 10 cool so yeah you you have scraps to make bullets. what do you guys want to do leave and go to a place that's also safe but that has 
contraptions to start working on shit. What do we know about the other ship? No communication at all? Yeah, no one's tried to contact you and you haven't tried to contact anybody. Can we tell them to meet back at the pirate station? Yeah, so let's go back to the pirate station. If they're not there, we'll figure stuff out. Yeah. So set course. Roll Roll engineering. Nine. All right, roll. Oh, roll astrogation. Five. Five. Oh, Oh, okay. God damn it, Amy, not again. (laughs) I thought we'd give you an upgrade. <laughs> Roll uh, piloting. Well, cool. You follow the uh, directions that Amy gives you expertly. <laughs> um, and as you come around this large asteroid in the belt, you come around to like essentially a fucking checkpoint. And there is several CD vessels parked at this checkpoint. There is two Azuls you guys had, like that size vessel, and then a smaller trans- combat transport vessel. That's how they're like boarding and searching people. And the moment you come around the asteroid, you basically make eye contact, the equivalency of ship-to-ship mm-hmm. eye contact, and they hail you immediately. They say, <laughs> Ves- unidentified vessel, please stop your engines and prepare for CD inspection. We are here to party. Emmy, can you <laughs> continue doing that, obviously, but can you set a course for us to get the hell out of here? Where is destination? Oh, the, the same destination we had before, the Pirate's Bay. That worked out great the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting snarky it's learned sarcasm how many weapons like how many guns are there one so i have a question could azul aid reggie like i was thinking because no. since it's like the nanobites could it go like over his arms and kind of like guide you know just like a plus one i guide think him? they would fight for control i don't think it's gonna work not without listening like you're spending time making some sort of specialty azul programming that reggie trains you know what i mean not on the floor I rolled an eight. What were you rolling for? Astrogation. So you, he plots you a new course and it's like literally through the checkpoint. <laughs> <laughs> like it'll get you there, but you now have to expertly maneuver around multiple CD vessels. What do you guys want to do? You're uh, being hailed. All right, Spencer. Again, and it's just the same message again. They're, they're paused over the piloting or the party roll. And then please shut down your vessels, engines, and prepare for boarding. New phone. Sp- who dis? <laughs> <laughs> this Spencey. is the CD, goddammit. Stop you your saw, vessel. You see this course? Can you fly it? I would like to spin an aim to um just literally fly through and like barely making it. But I'm just trying to like carve through and then shoot my way out and try and get it behind another asteroid. <laughs> so you come in and you dive between some of the other vessels that are already searching as cover and pitch up the other side. And you are now on the other side of them. So you have a clear exit velocity. But these bigger Azul ships do have pretty good combat range, as you guys know. And they're just going to open fire on you. So you also need to make two defy danger roll. No, they have multiple guns. You gotta make four to five danger roll. First one is a seven. Next one is a nine. We have a ten. We have a thirteen. So two mixed and a bunch of successes. Two, two, two success, two mixed. So uh, why don't we roll some shield rolls? Two I'm assuming because it's a smaller ship, I can run both operations from the same. Yeah. So two of them. The first mm-hmm. one's a ten. The second one is a 10. So you get smat, you guys get smatted with some light fire from uh, two of the guns, but the quality shields on this high tech ship take them, and you were able to slip through the asteroids. Make one more piloting roll for. Oh man, it's a nine. You slowly weave between asteroids and make your way into the field where they are not chasing. You guys got out of that one fairly good because of the spend in that aim. So yes, you sir. guys fly into the pirate havens area that's like a station, like a mining station in a crater on a, a large asteroid. And you get docking pr- permission. You tell them you're here to party and they re- <laughs> they recognize Amy and uh, give you guys landing permission. I'm a celebrity. And you guys are on the station, as you recall. The, there's like a big open air bazaar at the bottom where there's like people selling drinks and food and there are pop-up businesses and then above that in like 
the next ring up from the, that level is like people who like live there. They're like shitty apartments, slums and shit. And then above that's like the people who are actually running. Yeah, I want to um, I want to jack into the station sensors and look for the Drago Azul's signature. So you got to have to hack to to get the station to do what you want it to do. So roll <laughs> intelligence. Seven. You can look at the, the sensors, but someone's gonna be alerted that you're that someone's doing. Or you cannot. Do- I'm gonna do it. Yeah, cool. We're pirates, dude. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Other units. Odds. So the Azul, the Azul is make landing procedures now. Odds. They're they're here. They're here. <gasps> Attention, Captain Pepper. Well, then I try to hail the. You hail the Azul, uh, and someone answers. Uh, uh, hello, hello. Hatching you through to. Captain Pepperoni, <laughs> please hold. Uh, okay. Uh, hello. Your call is important to us. <laughs> oh, I guess we're on hold. <laughs> ba- ba- na- uh, da- da- are you gonna let me know that there's a? <laughs> we are the space are dragons. We are the dragon Everything is feeling so Captain cool. Pepperoni, the Drago Azul is making station parking. Psst. Hail them. Patching you through to the Drago Azul. Oh, that was fast. And wow. you're on the oh. Drago Azul. Hello? Please oh, hold. Maria? Cap- Ma- Captain? Maria? Oh, yeah, I'll get Maria. Ma- Captain Maria. How would I uh, want to talk to that guy? Oh, Enzo- Maria. <laughs> Enzo. Enzo, we just landed. That it. was close. We almost didn't make it. Well, give the men some leave and get the ship repaired and we'll meet in a little bit. All right. But I got to tell you, some of the men, they uh... don't don't worry. The the information that we got is worth a lot of money. They're going to get paid very well. We just need to wait a little while. All right. I'll try to quell them as best I can. All is right, there anything we'll, else? No, yeah, we'll, we'll be in touch soon. Mm. All right. Bye. Thank you for choosing the AMI <laughs> telecommunication <laughs> system. Your bill is in the mail. Now that we're here on the station and we're kind of in like a non-combat zone, I want to get Reggie and Azul acquainted. <laughs> And I want them to be able to work together during fights. You you got to program the Azul. I already had a program enough. I was wearing it like it was like a fucking fur coat. So I'm going to program to do that. And then I'm also going to, while I'm in there programming it, I'm going to try to program it so I can communicate with Reggie. Because right now I'm the only one that I can really communicate with. So you not- made Azul and did all the mods to Azul with a whole station or a whole ship's worth of equipment. You know you need better equipment. We got uh, the so ship back. Yeah. You're going to go to the Azul and do it? You guys want to head over to the Azul? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Should we take prisoner? Yeah, sure. Spency, you're not going to kill him, are you? <sighs> no, no, I think I understand. Just a blank slate. There's nothing there. It's not even, it has no nothing in the brain. It just looks like him. Maroni, hey, Enzo, my friend, I understand. You took it as a sentiment, but just know... I can only do so much to hold back the beast inside, all right? So try not to push your luck. Well, maybe the beast could have somewhere else to go, you know? There's a perfectly good body right there. Maybe uh, we don't ha- you don't have to have the beast. We could just throw him in that thing. Also, you don't know if Spencer would survive if you separated him. I want to do something cool with this body. Gosh, what can we do? <laughs> do Do you want to reconstruct my face? <laughs> so now you want to look like, like, like Julian? Well, no, but I don't want to look like Julian, but you could use the scraps of his skin to at least reconstruct my face so it looks better. Okay, but only the butt skin. All right, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so we're going to head over to the, the Drago Azul. Cool. With, okay. I mean, I, I'm assuming that's not a big right. deal to be walking around with, like, a guy with a... We can put him in a body bag. Like a, a tarp over his head or something, yeah. right? Like, this is a pirate fucking place. Like. Yeah, no, definitely bodies come by and stuff, but people will notice, but no, no one's going to stop you. But people are always gathering can, can we, information. Can, can we at least clothe the man? No, yeah, but we're like gonna. Kind of I'm gonna put. A, we're gonna put like cover his face and stuff so no one can see it. Right, There's so it doesn't look somewhere. like a Julian. Yeah, yeah. so they can't like, describe it as a Julian. So it could you be guys, anyone's dead corpse, bro. <laughs> you guys haul the body over to the Azul. When you get to the Azul, you guys get in the ship and like a lot of the guys are standing there, like and Enzo's there and Maria's there and the guy who speaks for the crew is there. As you come in and they they seem to look at you expectant, Captain. I don't know what's going on here. Seems like we got a lot going on. And so you want to take this one? Hey, guys. So I know it seems like we didn't have a big score there, but we got a real big score there, guys. This is going to be going to take a minute. 
It's going to take a little while, but when it's done, you are going to be paid handsomely. It's career ending money, guys. That's what we're talking about. Just go well, off to it. Well, it better be because that was what's just a, what's like career a career ending activity that we just did. This ship will be forever marked. You won't be able to hide this ship from the CD. It's only a matter of time. Hey, well, you know, we could we could add some flares to the side or something. You know, we'll make it look a little different. It'll be good. I'll order red paint. <laughs> A paint job. A, a ain't different color blue. Just a different color blue. Like, I don't think a white. paint job's going to do it. Okay. Hey, Spency, um, why don't you take this guy and go talk to him? Yeah. Come here, pal. Let me so go it, for a you talk. Do that, I, grab, I grab him by the back of the neck. You like, do right that, right and several other crew members step forward as you step forward to grab this guy. He and speaks I, for us. If you fuck with him, you fuck with us. I move forward. And, as they move forward, be like, all right. Well, okay, so battle lines are starting to be drawn as everyone's <laughs> squaring off, and Maria, Maria, and Giuseppe are kind of in the standing in the middle, and she's like, "Wow, guys, we can all." She kind of gets tries to get between you, Spency, and the guy you want to fucking wreck. We all need to take a breath here, fellas. I grab Maria's hand and I go, "This isn't your place right now." And I look at all of all the men and I go, "Any of you? I'm sorry. Do you any of you?" think you could have done anything without the cap no i'm sorry also do any of you want to fight any of us you're going through me first and you know what i can fucking do he said you're the one starting fights and we wouldn't have been in the worst gigs of our lives if it wasn't for the captain so unless he's about to hand us more money than god you got some things to answer for well i got a lot to answer for and I don't think you're dumb enough to want to have to find out. So either you shut your mouth and wait for your money or you die where you stand. Okay, okay, okay. Like and Maria steps up way. again <laughs> and she says, I think they're right to want to see what you're paying. Do they know who Juliet is? So that it's like too much no. for, to explain. Yeah, we can't even explain it to them, dude. Because like, yeah, it's worth so much money to the fucking that company. Like all this information that we have. So what do you say to them? Listen, we got that ship that we went or that station we went to. You saw it. It was all black. It was a black ops station. We got some information there that is very valuable that we could sell to different corporations. It's just, we have to find the right channels to distribute this dif- this information. But once we do, we're all going to be rich. Now look at everyone. Well, you guys want to be rich? Roll. Or do you want to be dead? And I just like, like hey, I kind of like, wait, not wave it off. And I'm like, hey, kind of smile. Put my hands in the air. I'm like, nah, he's he's joking, guys. <laughs> I think that was just regular charisma because they have to believe all that shit. Well, uh, I guess we're going to have to fight these motherfuckers because that was a fail. Also, now we don't got to share anything with them. So it's more for us. Yeah. So Maria steps forward and looks at you, Enzo, and says, Enzo, Enzo, <laughs> hey, Enzo. you owe these boys something. You can't just send them away after risking their neck for you. You've uh, expected us all to do it. You've expected it from me and Giuseppe. You were supposed to take him to see his mom. Well, now he has a ship. He could go take his mom. He can go see his mom whenever he wants. Oh, he has a ship now. You're just going to let him go. We'll take the Azul. We'll go then. We'll take your crew. We'll take the Azul. Fine. All of you yelly, yellow belly. Listen, guys, if you guys want to miss out on this big payday and you don't want to wait around for it, take the ship. That'll be your payment if you want that. But I'm promising you it's going to be more. Roll charisma again. Dude, I got a crit success. <laughs> you can see, like, she's kind of down, but the guys are like, this ship is fucking marked. It's not like we can't even sell this ship. So they're like, I mean, you can get a good price for they, scrap. They, <laughs> they're like, Stop it. they, it's <laughs> even, it's so marked that that might even be hard. So they, uh, they kind of disband and start to go back to their stations. And the leader guy of them kind of, the guy that speaks for them kind of nods at you, like, no, all right. I would like to still pull the guy who speaks for the crew aside and talk to him okay oh no he's gonna kill him i'm not gonna kill him i i genuinely <laughs> want to talk to him okay so you pull him outside he says what do you look i know everything got a little heated back there you guys are good people you deserve your payment all right i understand that you guys are angry you're upset okay but you were testing my captain in front of me what did you expect me to do all right you guys are good crew you guys have been good to maria you've been good to us we can't thank you enough for that 
But all I'm asking is you guys trust us. Okay. All right. He kind of eyes you because you're sort of playing out of character as far as he knows. Like he's never seen this part of Spency that maybe you share with your senior officer friend. And he I kind of eyes you. Uh, make a charisma roll. That is a tip because I have flat. And he charisma. nods at you and he says, all right, you managed not to get us killed yet. So. And look, you tested my boundaries. You know what kind of man I am. You know what I'm more than capable of doing. Well, we're I would not going to hate... be pushed around. We ain't your slave. I'm not trying to make you that way. But all I'm saying is, you know, my buttons do not push them. All right. You have to trust us here. That's all. Look, we're going to go get this information. So you guys just try and do your best not to get yourselves killed. Look after yourselves. All right. That's all I ask of you. All right. You guys are good guys. Good fellas. I pat him on the back and I walk out. We have like a a brig here, like a a jail or something, right? Yeah, a brig. Yeah, there's a brig. Currently in the brig is those two ops guys that were stripped naked. Are they both in there? Yeah, they're both in there. They're both in two guys. Maybe we should go find some information from them. Maybe Spency and, and Reggie can come and do hardcore intimidation. Yeah. I'll I'll go with Reggie to talk to the two impoundees. <laughs> yeah, fi- we gotta find out where the, who, I like who, that. who they're yeah. working for, but more about the, the institute. Now we know about the Julians, a little bit more about the Julians if we can find out. Before we go into the room, I stop Reggie and, and I, I want to talk to him and have a moment. Hey, Reggie, I know you've seen some crazy things from me, but I want to let you know the beast inside me i've started to get a hold on him we've made a deal all right you want okay and what is this deal he requires blood now i i I take a step back and like gasp now (laughs) the deal is also the fact that i get to have control of when that's spent and if he's mad when i don't do it he takes it from me and i'll take that every single time for you guys i want you to know that okay well if he needs blood does he need blood of our enemies or what if i quelled his bloodthirst with some of my own no i would never ask that of you don't even think that what i'm trying to bring this up for is we're about to go in here okay and if intimidation starts going south you gotta kill one of them in front of the other scare the shit out of them i'll do it okay I mean, I know you. Do, I know you would do that, Spency. We're trying to, you know, limit our casualties here. At the end of the day, what <laughs> happened to the good old days where you would just shake somebody and beat them to their pulp, and then they would get the message? I mean, so hey, uncivilized. Hey. Reggie, I get it. I get it, pal. I wanted to be that way, too. But we also have to think about the fact that sometimes some people don't want to talk. All right. I trust you, Spency. If we can't intimidate them, I've got your back. All right. So uh, we're going in to start intimidating. I- I- I'll let you lead. You can play the good cop. I'll play the bad cop. Okay, good. Because my charisma is negative one. So I ain't so doing much. any charisma rolls over here. All right. So I'll put the bad cop. Can you right. can you do like a strength intimidation? You know, crack the knuckles and be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know, give them the little like, you know, little nose brush, you know. Okay. But wait, before we do and uh, start cracking some skulls, Spency, what are we trying to get? Are we just trying to get them to back down? Are we just trying to get them to? We want to know who they're working for. If they have any places that have anything to value that we can go to and steal. And we also want to know what they were after when they were there. All right. Let's do this. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm going in. I guess I'm I'm a lead since he does he has a minus one to charisma. So I'm gonna let him be the big <laughs> the big muscle in this situation. Yeah. You should definitely yeah, be the guy that just comes in and starts knocking April. chairs over. And- I go to the closest cell, and I, I would like to before I I would like to get in between where I can see both cells and just stand there for a minute, like in the middle between them, just with like my my metal arm just bang the wall. Yeah, you two motherfuckers awake or not? Hear them shuffle and, back to the end of their cells. And in doing this motion, I kind of also want to make a perception to see which one of them is I'm more scared. And it, You're definitely getting to them a little bit, but they do seem to be hard and badasses. Okay. So it's possible they've had some training or even experience being kidnapped or interrogated or taken to prisoners of war. So neither of them seem more scared than the other. Can I, so th- you, you can can't like, get a uh, text fancy something or like remember one of them surrendered true we got him with like a, a sleep dart or something and then the other yeah. one like literally surrendered and said i don't want to die or something so yeah i walk in after Spencey has done that and i go 
and I pretend to whisper something into his ear. Yeah, how was your lunch today? Oh, <laughs> I'm looking a little shifty eyed. Can I tell which which one was the one that surrendered? Were you there? Yeah, you Wait. were brought in. One of them was unconscious. One of them wasn't. So the one who was not unconscious, you recognize as the one who surrendered. <laughs> I kind of look at him and I go, and I kind of, and I kind of like you know do a little point real quick, and then I go back in Miss Bensie's ear, and then do <laughs> a, you know hush hush hush. hush, hush, hush. But you told me that that's the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the guy right there. You know, he's the one that kind of gave up a little bit. So maybe we can, you know, kind of play off of that a little bit. No words. I'm going to drop the brow and just kind of <laughs> turn the head a little bit and look at him and just faintly walk over to the face to face with him and go, we're going to start with you, string bait. Oh. And I would like to roll for intimidation. Okay. Roll charisma and roll aid. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, double sixes. We both rolled double sixes? No way. Really? That guy shits his pants. The guy you pointed at, he shits <laughs> his pants. He's like, oh, God, no. Wait, is he naked, though? He doesn't have pants. He just shits. I, I audibly laugh and I go, look, look, look at oh, a little yeah, of this they guy. They stole all their clothes. Yeah, they, get they this stripped guy. all his shit. Clean up in the brig. <laughs> Clean up in the brick. <laughs> so I'm going to pull up my gun. Is, is there someone else in the his cell with him or is he by himself? Is he's by himself. I'm going to open the cell door and I'm going to grapple him by his neck. Roll strength. <laughs> Nine. So while he's doing this, I'm going to stand in between the cells and I'm not going to say anything, but I'm going to kind of like gesture at what he's doing because the <laughs> other guy can't see, but he can definitely hear. Yeah, so, yeah. And he can see me. So I'm like, ooh, that's, mm, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Why don't you roll charisma for that to perform that in a way that seems <laughs> believable. A nine. He's kind of looking at you with a puzzled look. So you're not sure if you're intimidating or not, but you, you keep going because it's doing something. Something's happening. Okay. Grab that guy with the mixed results and you do grab him, but he's not super weak like a fucking commando dude so he's he's able to resist you like manhandling him but you have a oh then i'm gonna go hey reggie we got a fight over here why don't you set him straight <laughs> no problem crack the knuckles real quick and then Just walk right in <laughs> You know, definitely a kidney punch. Uh, that's a 13. Roll your damage. What's your damage, dude? Oh, it's a D10. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You're gonna put Wait. This guy in a coma. Yeah, you're going to kill this guy. <laughs> Seven. Uh, I would say you can pull the punch a little. But uh, you hit him hard the first time, and you realize, oh, maybe that's a little too hard. And you kind of hit him like a medium hit the second time. And you're like, all right. I'm going to back up. And What's he's doubled seven? over. He's <sighs> As he's doubled over, I'm going to walk over to him. My God, look, my guy's fancy here. He's just trying to find some information. You tell him what he needs to know. We can make this all go away. Otherwise, oh. you're not going to get it first. It's going to be your oh. buddy over there. And I will let you listen to every single scream, oh. every howl, every moan will be heard and will echo in your mind for the rest of your life. Unless you tell this guy right here what he needs to know. Roll charisma, but I think in this case, Spancy's rolling a, an assist now. Okay, roll the assist, bro. That is a nine. I rolled double ones, and I have a negative one, so I rolled a one. Wow. Okay. You're in his face as he's doubled over, and he spits blood in your eyes, and you are blinded. As you're blinded by the blood, he makes a move to try to escape. Obviously, Spency is there if you want to try to stop him. You got strength on him? Uh, yeah, I'll go strength for strength. Push him back into the cell against the wall. That's such a cool way to do that. Ten. Not sure. All right, you get all strong all of a sudden. And slam, you just like choke slam him against the wall as he get, gets away. Reggie's like wiping blood out. Yeah, and as I'm getting the last bit of it, I go, oh, you're going to regret that right there. <sighs> I want to look at him and go, I think you should take my friend's advice before things get a little ugly here. What do you all I want to know is, who, or who do you work for and why were you at the obelisk? We, we work for the Institute. Who is the Institute? The Brahms Institute. It's a, it's a publicly traded business. You could look it up on the internet. I want to know why you were there and who sent you there. I want names, idiot. I don't have names. We just get orders and paychecks. We work for the Institute. We take care of the things that nobody wants their names attached to. Then why were you there? 
we were there to do some reconnaissance and collect some data on what? And we never got through the gates until, because you should. What was the initial intel? And I squeeze him tighter. It was to just go here. We were given the location and we were told to, to, to get to the core and download all the data. And I pick him up and slam him into the ground head first. Roll straight. Natural 12. Roll damage. <laughs> Roll your damage. Done. Five. So you slam him into the ground and he is now like days like punch drunk. Like, oh, no, no. And I look uh, back at Reggie and go, there's nothing to be found here. I think you uh, were a little bit too much on him. You know, it's a good thing we got this fresh guy over here. What is Amy and Enzo doing? Um, while all that's going on, I forgot I had this move. So while this okay. is happening, I'm gossiping to a community, uh, roll charisma, and I'm looking for opportunities to make money so we could appease the crew a little bit and follow in the captain's orders. You're good. You, we promised the crew that they're going to get paid. And Amy's like, oh, we, we need money to pay these guys. So a roll charisma for an 11. And so on a success, I get to start a rumor of my own that will spread like wildfire. And I'll spread a rumor that the Drago Azul has been sighted on Mercury. It was overheard that they were making pl plans to go to Space Vegas. What is that? Space what did Vegas. you roll to do this? 11. Oh, okay, yes. So you do that. What's the other thing you, you're doing? I'm looking things? for a learn of an interesting opportunity. Oh, yeah, your contract thing. So you get back to that contract posting board. What what kind of thing would interest Amy? Would she be looking for, like, transport jobs or, like, uh, VIP transport jobs or, like, protection jobs? Or would she be looking for cat burglary, like, like you're going to go steal something or combat? Yeah, what's, let's find a, a Brahm Institute place that we can go ransack. Okay, somebody's going to pay you to go get data from them because that's that's the wars. business Definitely it's a a corporate espionage you get a job that pays pretty well that wants you to go to a station on pluto out at the end of the system download the core from a marooned station like there are people there but it is pretty far away from any sort of support so it's just suspected that uh, some armed individuals could just force their way in and get what cool. and i send this information to the captain captain pepperoni look what i found on the forum i do hate the institute you guys want to do this job are we still down there trying or to get the information say... from those guys if we're done with that i'm just gonna drag the unconscious guy to my room devour him for the blood blast. oh that's right yeah i Definitely say we keep him. him alive because he's the one that's like kind of into a lot so... i'm gonna eat the other guy so you're gonna eat the other guy you're not gonna question me you're just gonna go in there and kill him i'm gonna open the cell and i'm gonna shoot him in the face okay roll the shoot and nine Okay, put your gun to his head and fucking kill him. Execution style. And then I say kind of quietly under my breath, I go, all right, butcher, this is what you asked for. And then you just hear a... I, I turn my body. head as you, as you do this because I kind of find it disgusting that you're really just... Ha ha have his body is gone in seconds. Yeah, roll constitution, Edgy, because that's some nasty ass shit. And you hold it together. It's gross, but you're like, uh, I've seen people's heads explode. But what else do you guys want to do? You have access to all those labs if you wanted to. Medical modifications to people on the team. Azul reprogramming. We talked about all these things. So now that the ship is smaller, we don't need Azul as like another person. But I think it could, having it, Reggie is the best situation right now. So it could be like a perfect aim. I'm, I think I'm going to try to fuck with Azul to make it somewhat wearable and like you could communicate with Reggie but on a very basic level with Reggie like just like through tech positive or negative response like affirmative like left is yes and right is no like I'll make a, a squeezing motion on one of the arms and that is oh that's a seven so it might not be very good. so that's a mixed result so program usable. okay so that means Reggie you need to roll to work with this Azul that's an eight all right, so you guys are having some trouble synchronizing yourselves to be a, like an effective team, but we're making some progress. On I would like to give it another shot on those bullets if I could. Okay. That's five. Oh, that's a five. Okay, excellent. One of the crew calls out to the captain. Uh, captain, there's 
there's uh, p- uh, people in our landing bay and he flips on one of the cameras or you flip on the camera and there's several people, like a group of like three or four people that look tough and they're like knocking on the door of the user. Emmy? Who is it? You know, send a hailing frequency to the, those people or just like a loudspeaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you here to party? <laughs> Yeah, uh, the one of the guys smirks and says, "Yeah, we're here to party." Identification, please. Oh, you can call me Chuck. I I look over at Enzo. <laughs> they are here to party. Yeah, I don't think they're here to party. <laughs> don't don't let them in. <laughs> Lock and gate. Tell them the party was canceled. <laughs> party has been canceled as you say that and like locking mechanisms lock on the doors one of the guys pulls out his bag and they start pulling out torches and lights it up and starts to cut into the door of the ship warning warning hull breach imminent do we have another hatch out of the zool not that works inside there's one that opens up like stairs to a landing thing there is like a dock there is like a connection that is just like a hole in the side of the ship oh can i crawl through the dock hole yeah you can crawl through the dock hole all right i'm gonna i want to crawl through the dock port and get out take a shot at the roll first dexterity guy. all hands two arms 12 <laughs> 12 okay you fucking shoot one of the guys that that one of the guys torching the door yes roll roll damage then i would like to use sleep dart okay that guy he gets hit by the dart and you can see he's like pulls it off like tries to pull it out of his neck and you can see he's kind of like looking at his work now and he's woozy and his hands are like swaying back he starts to kind of sway back and forth so he's definitely under the influence but he's not knocked out one of the other guys pulls out a gun and starts to shoot at you from over there so roll a defy danger that's a fail he's gonna hit you for some d for seven damage and the one person gets on their comm and is like yeah we found him we we found the azul this is definitely them Get over here. Oh, wait, I thought Emmy did the um did that rumor. Yeah, but this guy he was already in front here of your ship <laughs> and he sees you. He saw you guys carry a body through a through yeah, a he saw fucking... us before the start of the rumor. So now there's two rumors, and one of them's true. Uh what are other people doing? Uh on the ship, the men are grabbing their swords and peace you. I'm gonna roll to the door that they're trying to beat breach through and i'm gonna stand in defense of the area and prepare myself to disengage the lock and open the door okay you're gonna like stand in defense of the doorway essentially mm-hmm. as a threshold and you're gonna open the door eventually oh okay. what's reggie doing what's captain doing what happens if i turn on the shield you can't be like landing gear out parked on a runway and have the shield you got to be ship fully engaged on not touching anything okay um start killing people so what do you want to do captain get ready to fight i guess because you can't stop them i mean i guess we can disengage the ship and move it you guys want to try that this is spency outside yeah i am i'm outside of the ship like out kind of on a portion of it from the dock I mean, bay he could get back in very easily he's at a hole and he's like sh- basically shooting out of that hole so i say we we should just disengage and then just get out of there stand ready and open, i'll open the door open the door so they stop doing damage to the ship do you want to open the door they're cutting through Mm-hmm. Yeah, just open it up. And yeah. Just, okay. And as it's going down, just <laughs> it pops open, and there's a guy who's like woozy with a torch, like swaying back and forth, who's immediately knocked aside as men try to charge into the door. Like first guy's holding like just like a fucking pipe with a weight on the end as a melee weapon. <laughs> You're gonna be clubbed. Constitution. That is a 14. Ooh. Nice. He hits your metal, new metal armor and the vibration through his metal club sends his whole wrists into vibration. Reggie, what are you doing? Uh, is there like a corner I can kind of wait? You know, because like if we're opening the doors I'm going to come in or at least I need, you know what? I need yeah, to you, back you Emmy wait. up. Yeah, okay. I need to back Emmy up because I'm going to go with the bond is that I will protect him at all costs. So I got to protect our party machine over there. Yeah, well, you can still do that because like if going? Emmy's right there in front of the door and you're kind of hiding as they're coming through, you can just fucking hit that. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I like know? that. So you set up at the door and are you going to attack this guy that's attacking Amy? Yes. Okay, roll strike. 12. Roll damage. Two. Well, you hit him real good. It just uh, slices his arm and he uh, hollers in pain. And then Fancy shooting him. Word. 
I'm gonna the guy that I hit with the dart. Would he be considered damaged enough for me to do my attack? He's gonna make a constitution roll with and he gets a five, so he falls unconscious. You see, you look at that guy like you're gonna pounce and he just slumps over. So I would like to try and crawl out from the port and hang off from one arm to make a, a angle on the guy that was running in to attack Amy and okay. just shoot him in the back of the leg, trying to like maim him in a way like where he's hobbling. 13. Roll your damage. Four. You shoot him and it just rips apart his uh, leg and he stumbles back out of the ship and like falls to a knee. Not dead, but you can see he's fucking disabled now. Uh, and then there's the remaining guy. There's a guy with a gun who shot at you before, so he's going to mm. shoot at you again. Nine. Do you want to, like you're leaning out making this trick shot. I'll let you avoid the damage, but you fall on, onto the deck out of the ship. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So that shot hits the edge of the ship as you let go, and you're down on the floor where those other guys. The last guy that's there that called for backup. The rest of boys are going to be here, and we're going to get that bounty they just put out on you. And he, like, holds up his communication device, and there's, like, a bounty for the drag wizard that's just, like, there's so many zeros after the number <laughs> that it doesn't fit on his small, shitty screen all at once mm-hmm. as it scrolls by. Is he is and, he close to me? Yeah, he's, like, outside the ship. He's relatively close to me. Oh, you know, I want to snatch it out of his hand. Roll, okay, it's his roll. device. Just go... Just... Eight. Eight. You start tug of warring him for his device. And then I think we'll stop there because he called for backup, but it's just one guy.